Hello, this is Dr. J, back with some more Let's Play StarCraft. I have manually adjusted the resolution I'm capturing at to hopefully be pretty close to matching the resolution the game is running at. And next up is going to be Protoss Mission 9, the penultimate mission, Shadow Hunters. Protoss command ship, Gentrit the War, over Ire. It wouldn't have been necessary if you hadn't surrendered, Tassadar. The time has come to let loose the fury of the Dark Templar. Seratul, perhaps the time has come to tell our friends of the foe we face. Indeed. When I slew the Cerebrate Ochar, I touched briefly with the essence of the Overmind. In that instant, my mind was filled with its thoughts. And I tell you now, our worst fears have come true. The Zerg were indeed created by the ancient Zelnaga, the same beings that empowered us in our infancy. But the Overmind grew beyond their constraints and has at last come to finish the experiments they began so long ago. So you see, my friends, we fight not only to save Ire, but all creation. If we fall to the Zerg, then the Overmind will run rampant throughout the stars. Consuming all sentience, all life. It is up to us to put an end to this madness, once and for all. Our forces shall engage the primary Zerg hide clusters in an attempt to weaken their defenses. Once their numbers have thinned out, Zeratul and his companions can infiltrate the clusters and assassinate the Cerebrates. A Dune willing, the Cerebrates' deaths will distract the Overmind long enough for us to assault it directly. All right. Sounds like a good plan. Boy, the Zelnaga really screwed the pooch, didn't they? They sound like a race of mad scientists, and... Now their creation is threatening the entire galaxy. Well done to you, Zelnaga. Thanks a lot. Okay, we have no resources here. We have an Arbiter of our own. We need to find some resource nodes. Okay, there's a Vespian Geyser, there's... Really? Are these really going to be separated from each other? Oh, that's going to be annoying to deal with. But needs must. All right, so the lay of the land seems to be that we have the southern part of the map to ourselves for now. With flipping four resource nodes, but they're not com combination mineral gas resource nodes. Each one is either minerals or gas. And there's only one way in, apparently, through this canyon. I think we're going to want to focus on harvesting minerals first. As soon as this nexus finishes warping in. And then I reckon we're going to want to secure this. So maybe build a huge battery of photon cannons here to augment this. Of course, the enemy could try airlifting stuff over the canyon wall, so we're going to have to be vigilant about that, too. And when time permits, we're probably going to want to create two more Nexi. Ah, uh, geez, why couldn't these things be closer to each other? It's going to be a pain. Oh, we are going to need a bunch of pylons. I should have started building those immediately. Alright, well, 
if we're going to be building a bunch of photon cannons here, then... This will be a good place to put our pylons. I'm sure the map designers took into account the necessary delay with getting set up so we shouldn't get overwhelmingly attacked immediately. Because there would be not really much we could do about it if that were to happen. Okay. Now we can focus on building more probes. Maybe I should have delayed building this nexus over here. Then I could have cranked out the probes and pylons a lot faster. Oh well. It won't be long until we need the Vespine, so... It feels so slow. I do have the game speed at a reasonable level, don't I? How did it get knocked down to this? I wanted it here. When did that happen? Bizarre. Wonder how long that's been the case. Wonder if I've been playing that way for like the whole campaign. I didn't mean to be. Oh well. I only started noticing the slowness just now. Oh, so many things I'm noticing belatedly, but like I said, I'm sure not going to re-record the whole series, so... It is what it is, and we move on with our lives. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's build two more at a minimum. Well, that didn't take long. Looks like it wasn't much of an attack. What? How? No! Goddamn Zergling got through. Kill it! Little fucker. Pardon my French, but that irritated me considerably. Get out of here. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, it's hard to count them when they're all moving around like that. Anyway, I'm going to want to start putting up those uh, photon cannons. Oh, right, I need a cybernetics core. And before I can build a cybernetics... Oh, it needs a forge, not a cybernetics core. Hurry up with that forge. The enemy is not waiting for us, that's for sure. And might as well get these guys started. To build the assimilator. I kind of botched the opening, because I really should have focused on minerals first and delayed building this nexus till I started needing the gas. That would have allowed me to do a lot of important things faster. We will not have a repeat of that rogue zergling incident.
What happened to Raynor? He disappeared again. I swear, getting that guy to stick around. I'm just gonna ring this entire thing with photon cannons. I know it's expensive, but this is the second to last mission in the game. I think it's pretty well guaranteed that the enemy attacks are gonna be intense, so... And even though they're spread out in a fairly annoying manner, we do have access to a lot of resources here, so... We can afford to splurge a bit on defenses, I reckon. I'm probably going to go all out on my tech tree, too. I'm not going to focus exclusively on ground or air. I'm going to go both. can probably space them out a little bit more than this. And I think rather than trying to build photon cannons all along this cliff, which would take forever and really cost a fortune, for any potential aerial incursions, I'll just have a fast response force or rapid reaction force ready to go. I expect the bulk of the attacks to probably come through here. If that turns out to be wrong, then I'm wasting a lot of money on this photon cannon barrier regular Maginot line here, but hopefully that's not the case. Nice. All right. That was effective. Oops, no, 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 not a pylon. My mistake. Looks like I might want another cannon here based on how this is going. Where is there a tool? Oh great, Zero Tools. <laughs> Got like no oh that's not Zero Tool. Where did he go? There he is, hiding over there. Okay, good. He he's not low on hit points. Alright, let's put one here because they really seem to be hitting that corner hard. Then my next priority is actually going to be to build a nexus here. And really, really ramp up the mineral gathering. And I know that this is a pretty slow setup phase, but... Once we've got all this set up, all these nexi, this incredible defensive cordon... Then we're going to be able to ramp up our unit production and tech tree climbing so fast it'll be mind-blowing. So, just got to get strapped in first, make ourselves comfortable. 
settle in for the long haul. Because we've got, the game doesn't tell you this, but I remember there's two Cerebrates we have to kill. At least I think that there's two. And uh, basically everything north of this, I'm pretty sure, is absolutely crawling with Zerg. So, yeah, this, this is not going to be over quickly. Make ourselves nice and comfy. And although I'm certainly not going to pepper the entire ridge line with photon cannons. Oh, that is an ultralisk. I think at least a few photon cannons around my neck side will be advisable. Okay, I only lost one photon cannon. I'll replace that soonish. first, just to discourage airdrops and be a stumbling block, so that if this comes under attack we have time to respond. So just a couple photon cannons, and then let's replace this one. Maybe build another here. Looks like they're really going to hit the corners, so let's reinforce those as much as we can. Oh, jeez, we're almost out of minerals here already. What the heck? This is the real mineral patch. This should take us a while to exhaust, I hope. Okay, now that we've made ourselves nice and cozy, let's start getting our vital tech structures set up. Luckily we have shields because that stupid... I forget if that's a queen or a defiler ability. I think it's a defiler ability is reducing our hit points to one. Where did that probe go? Here he is. All right. We've got a lot of structures to summon here. Guardian. Damn. Should have figured they would start outranging that defensive line. Not good. Ugh. We have so many prerequisites to fulfill, it's hard to build all this stuff in parallel. Okay. Now we can start in the cybernetic core. Looks like we're gonna need one there because we've got a weird gap here where we can't build anything. Okay, we need a cybernetics core before we can get all that stuff. Jeez, so much as has to be built in serial, parallelizing it is proving a pain. 
Once the cybernetics core is here, I think I'll be able to warp in three buildings simultaneously. Let's start the shield upgrades. Gonna have to make an expansion here eventually, but right now we are not hurting for Vespeam, that's for sure. Minerals may end up being the bigger problem, because this ended up not being such a big patch. It was a little deceptive. All right, let's start warping in all of these things. Actually, hold on, let's cancel that one. I'll build one here so that I can put down another couple of, let's call them discouragement defenses. Though so far, they have really focused all their efforts here. Okay, there's Zeratul. Where's... Okay, so he is affected by that. I think it's a Defiler ability. Maybe it's Plague that reduces them to 0 HP or, you know, very, very low HP like that. So Phoenix is a little vulnerable at the moment and will remain so because there's no way to heal Protoss hit points, only those shields. Just on the basis of the fact that we know we're going to want an expansion here eventually. Let's put down a couple photon cannons here. And, alright, let's start building forces. Okay, glad I put down those defenses then. What was I doing? Uh, right, I was going to start building... Another Ultralisk. Okay, geez, I keep getting distracted. Uh, build guys. Okay, the enemy is stepping up their attacks. Let's build the remaining tech structures we need. So that'll be Fleet Beacon, Templar Archives. Do I have an observatory yet? I don't think I do. I'm not sure if I'll bother with the re- well, hmm. We're up against the Zerg. Screw it, let's just go all out. There. Now we'll have everything. And I'll build another gateway. And another stargate. As long as I'm at it, we know we're going to need it, so let's put up the final expansion. And I'm going to be making use of carriers for sure, so let's start on the carrier upgrades. Peel off a couple of these guys, they'll join in uh, Vespine Harvesting as soon as the Nexus and Assimilator are ready over here. Okay, we lost a couple of photon cannons. Probably best to replace at least one of them. I didn't mean to grab two of you. 
can't even use my hotkeys when I've got two of you. Maybe I won't build that one because it's a little. F Whoa, that's a lot of dudes. Okay, and now back to work. You guys get to harvesting. Okay, um, let's set some rally points for these. Uh, cybernetics core, where, where did I put that? Where in the hell is it? Um, I'm having legitimate, there it is. We need to keep our upgrades going. Ah, the replaced photon cannon. Okay, uh, more guys. We want Archons. Plenty of them. And we'll want some carriers. What else can we get at the fleet beacon? Faster scout movement? Sure. Faster zealot movement? Absolutely. Alright, hopefully we'll be able to build up very quickly now that we're kind of finally set up. This should last us a while. That was a real disappointment. There is hardly anything here. All right, maximum shields. She'll be the first of many Archon Archons after they're done with their little dance. Right now our Vespine is really running away ahead of our minerals, so as long as that's the case, then it's going to be lots of Archons. Again, I don't care about any of that because I'm building the Templars for the Archons. Oh, uh, geez. I'm kind of torn on whether I want Reavers. Against Zerg, it's probably worthwhile. Man, that's a lot of stuff to upgrade, though. I'm already spending such a fortune on upgrades as it is. But it's like... Man, that's 400 each of minerals and gas in order to get the, the Reavers to a possibly usable place. Plus... Plus all the cost of actually building the scarabs. Maybe I'll pass on them. That'll be like the one thing that I don't focus on building. I am definitely going to want an observer though, so... get another carrier building. There's not a whole lot of rhyme or reason to this except I want some of almost everything. Is basically the logic that's going on here. If we have massive variety then they're not going to be able to just counter one thing. Well, we've already depleted our first Vespine geyser. Good thing I 
set up for harvesting from the second one. Did that only have 4,000 Vespine, or did we actually harvest 2,000 from it already? Oh man, we're already half an hour into this recording? I wouldn't have guessed that. Pull back in range of the photon cannons. Don't let them provoke you into chasing them, guys. Alright, um... Yeah, let's get more carriers going. Sit back a little bit behind the defenses and... We'll be able to use your interceptors... To aid in the defense. Alright, shields maxed out. Good. Weapons next. And armor will, as usual, come last. Especially if they've got that stupid reduce everybody to zero hit points or one hit point thing. Again, I don't remember what that is. Maybe that's the plague. Would kind of make sense that a plague, a power called plague, would have that ability. I think a 50-50 mix of Zealots and Dragoons will be good in terms of my basic forces. Nice. Economically, we are winning on these engagements, but the enemy probably has access to nigh on infinite resources, if I were to guess. Sounds like we just killed a queen, I think. Alright, time to max out our aerial weapon upgrades. Vespine is still running ahead of our minerals, so... More Templar. There, rearrange the order in which I'm building things a bit. Oh, we are officially out of minerals there. Let's get some scouts going. <laughs> My minerals just evaporate as soon as I build even two of them. They are 275 minerals each. Oh, I think I just got plagued. Whatever. What upgrade? Oh man, we've got a ways to go to finish upgrading our ground weapons. Still Vespine running ahead of the minerals. Alright, 
eye for eye in this new state. Not that soon. Instructions. You will be successful. You will pass. Standing by. Now we're going to have to use Zeratul to deal the finishing blow to the Cerebrates. Otherwise they just regenerate. So that'll be something to keep in mind. Man, scouts are expensive. That upgrade's got a while to go. That one's coming along. Alright, eh, mineral supply is still holding up. I hope this giant attack force I'm building is able to punch through in one giant swoop. Or we can always hunt for another place to expand to if absolutely necessary. Aerial weapons are maxed. Time to start on the armor. Still working on the ground weapons. Uh, let's see. The minerals and Vespian are close to equalized. Turn out some more basics. Maybe some more scouts. I only have four carriers. I feel like I'm going to want at least six. Man, this is an absolute mess. Organizing these into control groups is going to be fun times. This upgrade's almost done. Oh, I miss this little dude. You lazy sod. Go do some work. No, an ultralisk. Nice. Okay, a whole lot of stuff happened all at once. Time to max out the ground force weapons. Another Defiler dead, I believe. Let's build another pair of carriers. Six I'll be satisfied with in a big mixed attack force like this. How are those minerals holding out? Not bad. We've still got enough to build quite a few more forces. We're nearing that supply limit. Yet again the Vespine is running ahead of the minerals. We know what that means, another Archon. That's quite the Archon army. <clears throat> Maybe I should research that stasis field. That could really be handy. Where do I research that? That should tell me if I mouse over it. Arbiter Tribunal. Have I built that? No, I, I never built one. I thought I covered all the tech structures, but I never built an Arbiter Tribunal. I will so I can research that stasis power. 
I probably won't be able to make half as good use of it as the computer does, but... Next level of air armor. Carrier has arrived. Gaoju. Carrier has arrived. Alright, give me a stasis field. There's also recall. Oh, okay. Um, crap, crap, crap. Not good. They're actually attacking in force over there. Wow, that's a pretty significant force. Oh god, Phoenix is in here. Run, Phoenix, run. I didn't mean to grab you. Okay, hold on. I need I need to rearrange these control groups. They're all, they're all goofed up. Observer traditionally is zero. You address me. Entaro at your command. Uh Zeratul, you can be one, I guess. So be it. I've got the Arbiter on 9. Okay, I need to rebuild these guys. Man, now I'm all flustered. What was I doing? Okay, I, I'm not going to use the recall, I don't think. The extra Arbiter energy, if I only have one, it seems questionable to spend the resources on that. We need to rebuild those cannons. You know, they, they at least slow them down a tiny bit. When it's a big attacking force like that, they don't slow them down much, but even a little bit is helpful. Okay, um... So I think I've got six carriers now. And I think they're all fully loaded. Yeah, we're going to call ourselves good on carriers. Another couple of scouts might not go on this. So they're group two. The Archons will be group three. How did you get through there? Oops. Okay, remember. Zeratul is one. The carriers are two. The Archons are three. Nice work. Okay, um... I need to make some groups out of these random infantry I've been creating. I don't seem to have as many as I expected I was going to. Oh right, the scouts need to be in a group. I guess there'll be group six. Looks like I have eight of them. Hmm. A little more. More infantry to round out the numbers. Ah, come on, I'm trying to get organized here. Leave me alone. Okay, these guys are all grouped up.
What the heck are you doing up there? How did that even happen? Sod off. Okay, uh, more random infantry to round out the ranks, I think. We're running low on resources anyway, so... Yeah, nicely demonstrated. So I don't think we can go nuts with the expensive stuff. Oh man, next level is only level 2? Jeez. I think that was a queen. Alright, um... I definitely need the, the ground armor at least to level 2. Heck with it. Let's see what we can get done with this force. We're nearing the supply limit. If we can't get a lot done with this, then I am concerned. Okay, my... Oh, my control groups are a mess. Go, go, go. I'm just going to start grabbing stuff and sending it forward. Those sounded like, uh, stupid parasites. A queen might have just sniped off an Archon or something. I think I ran out of minerals without enough to build a new nexus, so I hope I don't have to expand! This is such a chaotic mess. Carriers, you're getting distracted. I think we're nearing the Cerebrates. Let's see if we can bring Zeratul up. It will be done. 
So they're tearing up their base. I don't. I haven't lost any interceptors or carriers, so that's pretty good. Zeratol's fine so far. There's the Cerebrate. Leave it alone until Zeratul's ready. Okay, leave it alone guys. Let's let's all back off. This is Zeratul's job now. Alright, we're under attack, you say. By guardians, no less. That's not good. Go do something about that. Uh, my main worry if I lose my base is that Phoenix dies. Where the heck is he? Phoenix, make your way up here. It'll actually be safer. Because I don't think I'm going to be able to defend my base very well while all my guys are up here. Alright, the other Cerebrate's going to be over in this direction. Hopefully my remaining forces can break through to it. Okay, it's right there, so this is promising. Let's just destroy the things around it. Alright, now back off. Azurit will get in there and do what he does. All right, I think we win. It was a chaotic mess, but there was method to the madness. Yes, we did it. Okay. Whew. That was intense, but... We succeeded, and it was a fairly targeted attack. Rather than clearing the map, we just kind of beelined straight for the Cerebrates. I'm, I'm going to call that a, a fairly clean victory. Next up, the final mission of the original StarCraft campaign. Hopefully you'll join me for that, and I'll see you then.